if you're trying to create consistently, but then your life is a bit chaotic, for example, you have to um, sometimes unexpectedly travel to take care of, um, you know, el elder care or uh, some other caretaking or, uh, you know, family illness or you have uh, another job or, um, you know, kids have school or there's lots of reasons why life can be unpredictable and you are therefore having a hard time creating consistently. What do you do? Okay. So there are several responses to this, but I'm going to go with, go with this one. Um, imagine if you were to promise a friend, a good friend, a friend that you, well, that, the fact that you're asking this question or any of us means that you tend to be a caretaker. Um, you know, those of us, a lot of us who are here uh, in, in, uh, in my audience tend to be of a more caretaking personality. And, uh, you might even say, uh, at the, at the, the dark side of that is people pleasing. The light side is caretaking. Um, and, and so you allow others to, you know, encroach on your boundaries more than, more than some people anyway. Um, but I'm going to use that to, to our advantage for this example. Imagine you promised a friend that you would send them, uh, you would thought, send them a thoughtful message every day because maybe the friend is, you know, struggling um, and you have some advice or experience or just presence to share with that friend. You see where I'm going with this? So again, imagine it's your friend and, uh, I don't know how they prefer. Well, gosh, you know, you, you want to be personable. I mean, you, you, sometimes you you spend, you know, ten minutes writing your friend to say, "Hey, um, Michael. Hey, Selena. I hope you're. Um, how, how's your day going? You know, just you know, write me back when you have a chance. Let me tell you how my day went. Again, it could be a friend who is struggling, and you just want to like show up and be a presence, a caring presence in their life, right? So you might sometimes write. Sometimes you might leave a voicemail, you know, like Facebook messaging is easy to click the record button and leave a voicemail on Facebook messaging. Uh, the, the Facebook messaging, that's not a perfect example. There's only one minute voicemails. By the way, there's a secret. If you record on your phone a voicemail, you can attach it on Facebook messaging and, and, and have it be more than a minute voicemail. It's a little, a little trick someone taught me. Um, or sometimes you want to be uh, to be real encouraging to your friend and you so you make a video for them. You take... You know, you take three minutes to think about what you want to say, and then you record a three, five, seven minute video for your friend. And you promise to do this to your for your friend, or you you make the commitment to do this for your for your friend who's struggling every day. You you leave him a voicemail or a, or a video or a thoughtfully written message with complete with emojis and and a story you tell them or whatever. Okay, how does that feel even when you're traveling? you would do it even when you're traveling because you made that commitment to care for your friend, right? So you're at the airport. Hey, Tamsin, um, the flight's about to take off, but you know, I think there's probably another couple, 10 minutes before the flight takes off, before I have to turn off, turn on airplane mode. But I just wanted to tell you how my day went and thinking about you. And, um, you know, I was thinking about the conversation we had about, you know, X, Y, Z issue. And I just had a thought about that, you know, have you have you thought of it this way? You, okay, you you would do it no matter what, and so <laughs> you see, maybe you see where I'm going with this. I want you to treat your audience like that friend, because your audience, your ideal audience, is like that friend, and you know, especially when your life is unpredictable and chaotic, you have to treat content creation with that kind of lightness. I mean, I, I encourage you to treat content creation with that kind of lightness. Even your life is, is, is stable and you know, predictable like mine is, but I, I treat content with that kind of lightness too. I'm, I'm recording content right now, talking as if I'm talking to a friend. Shreta, how's it going? I'm, I'm recording this for you because I am, <laughs> you know, I, I always record or talk or write as if I'm talking to one person, a caring friend, or a, a, I'm talking to somebody who trusts me 
who likes me and for whom I have something helpful or entertaining to say. That's it. And it doesn't matter if you're running a nonprofit or you're running a company. Let's say you're not running a nonprofit. Same thing. Your audience, the, the ideal donor, the ideal volunteer is that trusting audience who just wants you to show up for 10 minutes a day, record a message. Now, when I, I mean, that, that would be more like a podcast, but record a video to say, hey, flight's about to take off, but I wanted to share um, about the campaign that we're running right now in our nonprofit. Fly, hey, fly, and now I'm switching to a service provider. Uh, let's say I'm a you know, relationship coach. Hey, flight's about to take off, and I want to just share a, a tip that I that's yeah, been useful for me in my relationships. Blah 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 blah. blah. Or hey, I just uh, there's something happened to me um, in my uh, you know today that made me think about this this dynamic in relationships. Blah, blah, blah. That's it. Flight's about to take off. All right, everyone, that's all for now. I got to turn on airplane mode now. See you in the next video. Ten minutes recorded the video, three minute video, whatever. You know, content creation has to be that light. It, it's not, it's not a, oh, I, I don't have the two hours to sit down and write an award-winning blog post, <laughs> you know, or I don't have, um, I don't have the half an hour to sit down uh, or I'm not inspired. Remember, uh, if I'm making sure the friend is being taken care of every day, I don't have to be inspired. My friend needs me. My friend just wants me to show up and write a, an I care for you message. Content creation has to be that light. Um, especially if you, uh, you know, I'm going to hopefully remember the link below this video. If I forget, please remind me because content creation is this light. Uh, the three stages of content creation. That's, that's what I'm going to link you to, which is stage one is what I'm talking about uh, to we, 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 it's like to become consistent means to become consistent with stage one, stage one content. It has to be this kind of lightness and casualness and prolificness. I'm not saying you have to do it every day, but it's with that kind of lightness that you approach it. And I mean, if you do it once a week, you're doing content consistently more than most people, more than most companies, more than most nonprofits, more than most service providers. But if you can do it every day, a little bit every day, I mean, I, I, I tweet every day, you know, I use Twitter as my way of just adding a little bit more thought to a particular thread that I'm working on that will become a blog post. So I tweet almost every day, not every day, I think, you know, four or five times a week, I'll just add to add, add to my Twitter thread uh, on some kind of blog post I'm writing for the for the future. And so it's got to be that light, whether you're, you're, you're adding a tweet to your thread or replying to your own Facebook post to add to your thoughts for a future blog post, make it light. And then once a week, sit down for half an hour and collate those thoughts into a blog post or, 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 or finally make the video or something like that, right? Stage one content, make it consistent. And then stage two, once you get consistent with stage one, then hopefully you have the discipline to make, because to, ultimately, 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 no matter how unpredictable your life is, it's still about discipline. I mean, you don't, Say, ah, I'm, I'm too, my life is too unpredictable. I'm not going to take a shower or I'm not going to brush my teeth or I'm not going to eat, right? Or I'm not going to fill in the blank. That's something you, you just not even a quest. It's, it's non-questioned that you do this thing every day or every week, right? Is it, there are certain activities you just don't even question. It, it might take you half an hour or an hour or two hours to do it every single week. You don't question taking care of your family members. You don't even, why is that non-questioned? And, but yet, taking care of your own business is a question and taking care of your own creativity. Why is that a question? And taking care of your parents is not a question. I have a whole other video about caretaking that, <laughs> that, that we'll talk about, but that's a separate topic. But um, ultimately I think we need to take care of ourselves first and, and content. I don't know. Maybe it's not as important as taking care of your elderly parent. Um, I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. It's, it's up to you to, weigh that uh, in your own values. But I hope this is helpful and inspiring and I look forward to seeing your comments below. Thanks.